Thank you, Jimmy. At this time, as we work our way to a close for FECON 2017, we have a short and special recap for you, a video recap of the last two days. Recon is really a really unique concept where you bring people together from all over the liberty movement and have interdisciplinary as well as interactive sessions and I thought that was very interesting and I always try to learn from other organizations and I used to be a FEE alumnus myself and I wanted to see what FEE is up to. I think it's so important to me because I want to do something good for my country and help as a way and many ways it's possible and I saw a fee like an opportunity to do great things in Guatemala. When I first heard about FeeCon I knew it was something that I wanted to be a part of. I went to Jeffrey Tucker's cryptocurrency convention in Atlanta a few years ago and I knew it was going to be a really cool event. I also love the creativity and the innovation and sort of the entrepreneurial spirit in Fee. So it's really great to be down here. I'm going to be singing for everyone, so that should be really fun. of FEE have been so impressed with you and so pleased with the way this event is, has gone the last couple of days that I'm very happy to announce that the dates for FeeCon 2018 have been set June 7 through 9, 2018 here in Atlanta. Hope to see you all. I think it was a man named Thomas Carlyle, maybe a couple hundred years ago, who said that economics is the dismal science. But I'm guessing that if he had been here this weekend, right about now he'd be at his computer, he'd be a Wikipedian, and he'd be editing the entry on Wikipedia for dismal science. And the new version would read something like, economics may be dismal in some places, but not at this place called FECON in Atlanta. That's my guess. Many people deserve a hearty thanks from all of us at FEE for uh, the success of this event. And first and foremost, you deserve our great appreciation, our hearty thanks, because it would have been a pretty dull conference had you not shown up. <laughs> so we deeply appreciate it. We've had a tremendous time, as I hope and believe you have as well, getting to know so many wonderful people who believe in liberty from all over the world. That's a special thing that I think all of us are gonna take with us and remember for many, many decades to come. So all of you deserve a thanks. Also, our sponsors, uh, all of them, you've seen their names. I want to thank them again because they helped mightily to make this happen. Our donors who give entirely because they share with us the values of liberty and free markets. As you all know, we don't seek nor would we accept any government funding. And I'm happy to say that none has ever been offered. <laughs> Our extraordinary staff deserves a special thanks as well. There's not a, thank you. There's not a day that goes by, even when I'm on the road and not amongst my colleagues, there's not a day when I don't feel blessed 
uh, with the extraordinary talent, the tremendous dedication. We're all on the same page. We all share passionately in the values that we seek to advance, and it makes all the difference in the world. And I don't think we could have been so successful in the last uh, nine years in, in uh, uh, reviving a fee and making it once again the mothership of the liberty movement had we not uh, put together the incredible team, I think the best in the business. So thank you, fee colleagues, for all the indispensable, incredible work that you've done to make this happen. We think of all of you as missionaries for liberty. So I hope that that is on your mind as you leave. If we're to win this ultimate battle of ideas on behalf of liberty, we can't just keep to ourselves. We can't, no matter how much enjoyment we get out of it, simply attend conferences and read books and then keep quiet. We have to spread the good word. We have to become better, each of us, at communicating this lofty message of individual liberty to others, to win over the unconverted, to reinforce the already converted, to make people understand that there perhaps is no more lofty, more noble objective for human society on this earth than that we each live free and responsible lives, respecting one another, preserving things like private property, limited government at best, and all the other values that are wrapped up into this wonderful cause that we call liberty. So be a missionary. Take this message, win over others, come back next year, bring your friends, even if they're on the other side. Those are the kind that we want, in fact, uh, to see more of, because uh, when you make a convert, sometimes um, you make uh, a new uh, missionary who has a perspective that can win over uh, the toughest of crowds. So finally, as you go uh, your separate ways uh, and go home, we wish you the safest of travels, and we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for your dedication to liberty, your support of FEE, and for being here to help us celebrate this first event, but not the last. Thank you very much. <laughs>